Justifying Angle Relationships, Lesson 11.1b. As we learned in the previous video, a transversal is a line that intersects two lines in the same plane at two different points, and the two lines may or may not be parallel. We can use tracing paper, plastic wrap, or even a square from a clear storage bag to justify the angle pairs formed by a transversal. So here are some of the angle pairs. We've got corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and same side interior angles. So here we have our parallel lines and our transversal T. The first thing we do is trace the diagram onto tracing paper. And I traced it onto some cellophane so that it'll stick to the board and we can see through it. We line up the tracing paper over the original diagram. So let me show you this first. It lines up perfectly, okay? And we line it up so that angle one here is on angle five. So I can slide this down. See angle one here? I can slide it down so it's on top of angle five. Look at that. And it lines up perfectly. So the question is, are they congruent? Well, yes. We lined up angle one with angle five and they were the same. They are congruent. Then we compare angle one on the tracing paper to angle four. So here's angle one up here. I can turn this and we can line it up with angle four. Look at that. It lines up and we can line it up with angle eight. Angle one lines up with angle eight. They're the same measure. And we can also compare angle two up here. So that's right here on my tracing paper. We can compare it to angle three. If I turn this around, here's angle two lining up with angle three and angle two lines up to angle six and angle two lines up with angle seven. Look at that. We can measure the angles with a protractor to compare them also. We can measure angle one with a protractor and then compare it to angle five to see if it's the same and do the same with the other angle measures. We learned in seventh grade math 8.4b that vertical angles are opposite angles. So angle one is opposite of angle four, they're vertical angles. And angle two is opposite of angle three, they're vertical angles. So are five and eight and six and seven. And vertical angles are congruent. Whatever the measure of angle one is, is the same measure for angle four and so on. Here we have corresponding angles. Angle one and angle five are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent. If we measured angle one and measured angle five, they would be congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Angle four and angle five are alternate interior angles. They're on opposite sides of the transversal and they are on the inside of the parallel lines. They're congruent. So are angle three and angle six. If we measured them with a protractor, they would be the same measure. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. If we measured these angles one and eight, they would have the same measure. And if we measured angles two and seven, they would have the same measure. They're congruent. We also discussed in the last video how same side interior angles are supplementary. They're supplementary when the two lines are parallel. So the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle five will equal 180 degrees. They're supplementary. And the measure of angle four and the measure of angle six will equal 180 degrees. They're supplementary. We're now finished with the second part of the lesson. We're moving on to the last part. Finding unknown angle measures. So now we know that vertical angles, corresponding angles, alternate interior and alternate exterior angles are congruent. And that's going to help us find all the angle measures of the eight angles with parallel lines and a transversal. Have a wonderful day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.